20-2011 EDA grant for sewer basin, city cost $254,000. Mr. Uh, Baskin, is he here? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so um, I believe this was brought up at last month's Board of Mayor and Alderman meeting, and it was referred over to the uh, Wastewater Board. The Wastewater Board met about this project, and as I believe Mr. Trustee can verify this, they recommended uh, the, the Board to approve this project, uh, or they gave their stamp of approval on it. Uh, just for information for those of you who don't know, uh, the Millington Wastewater Treatment Plant is designed to handle a peak flow of 10 million gallons per day. However, during storm events, inflow of wastewater into the sewers, increasing flows to the plant, which it can usually handle for a brief period of time. So in late April and early May of both 2010 and 2011, storms were so large and of such duration that flooding occurred in the area, and the wastewater treatment plant received as much as 14 million gallons per day into 4 million gallons over its peak capacity. So this caused overflows of untreated wastewater, and uh, the state was notified of these bypass flows that were uh, completed, and the EQ Basin grant is an 80-20 grant from the, uh, uh, from the EDA, and what the grant would do is allow us to construct a 12 million gallon holding basin for uh, incoming wastewater so that during times of peak flows, overflows, flows that come in over capacity, we can hold that wastewater until such time as it can be treated uh, by the plant. So the grant is an 80-20 grant, 80% uh, funded by the government 20% the city of Millington. Uh, the estimated cost of the city would be $254,000, a little more than that. And uh, Mr. Jim Cox, who are Christian Arnold, the, the client of the client that was, I mean, the, the consultant that was contracted to apply for this, oh, I'm sorry, the consultant that is helping us with this contract application here tonight. So I can ask your questions, and if you have any questions. All these fans going, please, everybody remember when they come up to that microphone, they really need to speak. Up. We can barely hear you all, plus people in the back. Yes, sir. Uh, the, uh, I'm sure, did, did y'all all get a copy of this from me on my comments on that? Well, your comments and your, your uh, thoughts on this? Well, here's the, here's, the, here's the thing. I don't doubt that we need this, and uh, I didn't want to influence anybody on their decisions until I saw what it's going to be. Uh, you realize that the uh, city of Memphis is looking at us to hook up the sewer for the part of Crenshaw Road that they are now treating within the next two to three years, and it's going to run probably two to three hundred thousand uh, dollars. The new CO to base will be meeting with us. Uh, Captain McGowan uh, had started it. They're very concerned about separating us from them on the sewer service to the University of Memphis campus, the police station, and the airport terminal. Uh, this cost and timetable on this is really uh, unknown, but what we're going to have to do early on is uh, create a plan of service, okay? So they'll know it and they'll give us time. Also, the extension of sewer services on Shelby Road uh, is in our long-range plan, and that long-range plan is getting shorter. Uh, for those people out there, we had told them, or we didn't, but Mayor Harville had talked to them uh, when we annexed them, and that was a concern on two or three of them because their uh, septic tanks were messing up. So that's going to have to be a consideration, too. Uh, and when we spend this million 273, 
the depreciation, Mr. Trustee, if I understand it correctly, we will have to deposit $32,000 and have that a line item in our budget. For how long? Per year for 40 years. 40 years? Oh, 30. 40. Okay. <laughs> with life is right. Okay. Anyway, I think we really need to consider this in light of our budget and uh, unforeseeable things that come up, and we know these aren't unforeseeable. Uh, they are they are reality. Just a matter of when and how much. So, do we have a motion second? No, not yet. Okay. When now, when you say we need to look at that, those those three projects there, your estimated cost on those are somewhere between two and three hundred thousand, right? No, that's just one of them. That's just the one. That's just the one on Crenshaw Road. Okay. Now, our engineering firm looked at that and thought we could tie in not have to run a whole line out there. Uh, uh, that's just on that one. At the base, we have no idea. We haven't ran it ran that. Well, I wasn't too keen on this project from the beginning because I thought that it was uh, expenditure-wise, it was uh, versus the benefit, it wasn't feasible. It wasn't very productive. Uh, being that uh, even if we were caught in a situation again like we were during the flood where we had to discharge untreated waters the fine was only a thousand dollars a day and versus us spending two hundred and fifty four thousand dollars to satisfy that so uh, I'm of the opinion I think we should probably set this money back for these other projects that will be forthcoming and so I'm, I'm not really in support of this. The other component here is that I don't think it, it actually really works into our overall plan for what we're wanting to do out there anyway to think about the other repairs that are needed, I think this money would be better to spend more than likely. The 2.8 million that we've got to spend out there. But first things be first, we got higher priorities out in this area. Mr. Pettis, do we need a uh, table or a resolution to uh, vote on it? There is a resolution. So I think we need a motion and a second. Okay, all right. Need a motion and a second, the lawyer says. Okay. I've got a motion and a second. Uh, Don made a motion. So if there's. Uh, I think there's sometimes you have to prioritize that this will probably move back to the back of our list of priorities because, in my opinion, that's covered. Okay, no other discussion. Roll call, please. Parker? No. Mr. Brown? No. Mr. Carruthers? No. Mr. Ford? No. Mr. Lowry? No. Mr. Marco? No. Wow, another historic vote. 